You know, when uh, when we have a crisis like we're in the middle of uh, uh, this week, uh, the American people expect their leaders to sit down and try to resolve their differences. Uh, I was at the White House uh, the other night and uh, listened to the president some 20 times explain to me why he wasn't going to negotiate. Uh, sat there and listened to uh, the majority leader in the United States Senate describe to me that he's not going to talk until we surrender. And then uh, this morning, I get the Wall Street Journal out, and it says, well, we don't care how long this lasts uh, because we're winning. Now, this isn't some damn game. The American people don't want their government shut down, and neither do I. All we're asking for is to sit down and have a discussion and to bring fairness, reopen the government, and bring fairness to the American people under Obamacare. It's as simple as that. But it all has to begin with a simple discussion. Mainly on the CR. A, is that true, and, uh, and solely on CR? And B, to what extent uh, would you be willing to look at a temporary debt ceiling increase, given that there's very little time to resolve both of these issues? Listen, the issue right now is the, the government. And all we're asking for is for Harry Reid to appoint conferees so we can sit down and have a conversation about bringing fairness uh, to the American people and getting our government open. Quoted before as saying that you do not want that you want the debt ceiling to be raised, you do not want the U.S. to default. And Democrats are interpreting that as saying that at the eleventh hour, when the president refuses to negotiate on the debt ceiling, you'll run a clean debt ceiling bill. So can you be clear as to where you and your conference is on the debt ceiling? So no, you've all heard me say this uh, going back over the last two or three years. Uh, our goal here wasn't to shut down the government. Uh, our goal here was to bring fairness to the American people under Obamacare. Uh, I don't believe that we should default on our debt. It's not good for our, our country. But after 55 years of spending more than what you bring in, something ought to be addressed. This year we'll have more revenue than any year in the history of our country and yet still have a nearly $700 billion deficit. And I think the American people expect if we're going to raise the amount of money we can borrow we ought to do something about our spending problem and the lack of economic growth in our country. Is, is this shutdown, uh, this showdown, about the Affordable Care Act? Is it about the budget deficit? What, why is the government shut down right now? We sent four bills to the United States Senate, four different positions, trying to soften our position uh, to get the Senate interested in keeping the government open and bringing fairness to the American people under Obamacare. It's as simple as that. Last question. Mr. Speaker, we've seen a lot of reports about how there's um, sniping, personality sniping between you and the Democratic leader and the president. No, no. How much is about that? That's just not true. That is just, listen, that is not true. Now, most of you have dealt with me for some time. I might have sniped at Luke once or twice, all right? <laughs> but I have very good relationships with all of my colleagues across the aisle. I, listen, I, it's me. I, and maintaining these relationships is critically important. All I'm asking for is let's sit down like the American people would expect us and talk to one another about getting the government open and dealing with the significant problems that we face.